Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to continue working on our walk cycle. Let's take a look at our reference image here and notice that um, at frame 16 the feet have switched position. Since we are doing a cycle our first step needs to be exactly the same as our last step. So what we're actually animating here are two steps not one. But at frame 16 which is our frame 17 the halfway point the feet need to switch position. So let's make that happen. Let's start by hiding our plane. And when we're animating, we always need to switch coordinate systems. The default is view, and that leaves everything always aligned with the world. Let's make sure we're always using local coordinates. And then let's zoom in. And what needs to happen here is the feet need to switch position. So the position of this foot needs to be needs to match the same position of this foot. They just need to have the same values at frame 16. So the easiest thing to do is to copy those values and paste them into the other foot. So go to frame 1 and then we're going to open up the curve editor. And notice because we are using local coordinates we are moving in the y direction. So that's what we need to look at. And here is the Y keyframe that we need to copy right here. And the value of that keyframe for that foot is 32.536. So let's uh, select that value and then Control C copy it. And then we're going to move ahead to frame 16, 17 I mean. Select the other foot and select its Y position. And then we're going to create a keyframe here and paste it in there. To create a keyframe in the curve editor, you simply get this button right here and you click where you want to add a keyframe. And now we can highlight the value that's there and control V paste the new value in there and hit enter. And that switches that back. And now let's switch back to uh, move and select and select the beginning keyframe value of this foot and highlight it and control C copy it and then move ahead to frame 16 or 17 actually and then we're going to select the Y position of the other foot create a keyframe in there just like we did last time and then paste that value in so now the feet have exactly switched position, but the rotation is not what it should be. So we can fix that too. Let's roll back to the original position. And now we're going to select the X rotation. And we're going to um, switch to the select, move and select uh, tool. And we're going to select that keyframe and copy that value. Then we're going to move ahead to frame 17. And um, select the other foot. Select its X rotation. And create a keyframe. And paste that value in. And then let's go back to frame 1 and we're going to select the uh, X rotation value of oops we gotta change that tool of this frame highlight it control C copy it go to the other foot select its X rotation move to frame 17 select create a keyframe create a new keyframe and paste that value in there now this doesn't fit exactly so we're just going to have to adjust it so let's turn on auto key and let's zoom in a little bit turn on the wireframe override and move that down until the foot is on the ground and then move this one up until the foot is on the ground And then let's turn off Auto Key and click Play and see what that looks like. And that looks good so far. 
and we still have a lot of refining to do. Um, if we check our reference plane, go back to default shading, you can see here that at frame 3 or 4, the foot should be down on the ground. We don't have a down phase here, and we don't really have a great uh, passing phase. The body should go down, up, down again, and we don't have that either. So there's still some work to do, and we'll do that when we come back in the next video. And I'll see you then.